busy this evening. I cannot believe that Taggart had the nerve to ban you from Spalding Enterprise. That makes me furious. Well, I hope it makes you at least a little bit hungry, too. And you, look at you. You're so calm about this. Well, that's because I know that I didn't do anything wrong. And because that my very clever assistant was sharp enough to make a backup disc of the original figures on that report. Lucy, you gave me the ammunition. Whoever it was that sabotaged me is going to get the fight of their life. Tomorrow, tonight, I want to concentrate on giving you a pleasant evening out. All right? What? What is it? I think the person who may have sabotaged you is sitting right there. Let's go say hello. See what we can find out. Oh, hello, Father. Angie. Well, son, I'm glad to see you both out enjoying yourself after that very difficult day. Ah, yes, well, you've always taught me to put on the best face even in the worst possible situations. I'd say that uh, being relieved of the Spalding presidency probably qualifies for that, doesn't it? Well, son, that's, that's only temporary. I assure you, as acting president, I'll do everything I can to clear your name. Thank you for your support today. Well, you, did, did you doubt for a moment that I wouldn't support you? Oh, no, no, but uh, frankly, I just, I, I never imagined that I would need it. I walked in flying high with a blockbuster financial report. Who would have thought I was going to walk out being accused of fraud? Well, son, I'm sure there's some logical explanation for all this, and we'll find it. Yes. Well, it was definitely kismet that you were there to pick up the pieces, right? But I'm sure that Lucy and I will figure out who sabotaged those files. Well, that might be a little awkward since the board denied you access to the files, but I'll see what I can do oh, no, to help no, you. no, no, that's all right. As you know, Lucy made a backup uh, disc of the original undoctored figures, so it's going to make my job much easier. Well, that's good news. Listen, when you find something concrete, let me know so we can uh, put you back where you belong, son. You will be the first to know it. Good. Well, enjoy your evening and your meal. You too. Well, my father is probably the most politically correct man I know. Mm. But I kind of hope it's not him, because if it's not... That yeah, means it's Brent. Yeah. Probably got into the office while we were away. Lucy, I don't want you anywhere near him or the office, especially while I'm barred from the building. He's a very dangerous person. He pulled a gun on your father, for God's sakes. Yeah, but he's not going to get away with everything. No, Lucy, even if he wasn't the one who tampered with those files, he is not going to get away with anything. Walk in here and commandeer my office. Yes, I can, because I want the paper, remember? Hi, hi, sorry. I'm hi, I'm glad you're here. I was getting a little bit worried. Well, will you stop? It makes me nervous, all right? Let's just get to work. Okay. Hi, is this where we should do it? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. It's all yours. I'm his. Be his guest. Thanks. Here it is. Our secret weapon. Okay, baby. Lead us to the enemy. Your eyes on the screen. Well, 
I'm sure it was bound to happen sooner or later. What? Work with somebody long enough, you start to read their mind. Yeah, I guess. Well, if you see uh, anything that doesn't look right, any of the numbers that don't correlate with what you wrote down from memory, and just shout out. I will. Loud and clear. <laughs> go on. Want me to go slower? No, no, you can go faster. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 go back, go back, stop? yes, that means stop, go back, go back, okay. go back, one more, wait, one more, that last column, look, look at that, uh -huh. look, that look right at there? that, now look at this, that's it, that's it, that's it, we were looking for it, this, yes. <laughs> okay, Sherlock, we, uh, we got the crime, now we just gotta catch who did it, oh, that's Elementary, dear Watson. Elementary. I think we can do it. We're good together. We're a real team. Little game. I think I got it figured out. You lure a guy in, right? You make him think you want him. Everything's cool. You have a little fun. And after the fun, you want to go back to being the good little girl? Like you never wanted in the first place? It's not true. I said no. And I said it. You said over no? And over no? and over. Yes, I no, said no. No, I don't remember it that no, way. No, no, you raped me. I remember you saying I more. Said it. I want no. more. No, 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 you raped me. You, you got raped what me. you wanted. No. So did I. So thanks for everything, baby. said to you, I want to choke every, every word out of him, every lie. He does it to me every single time. He's out of his mind, Lucy. After everything that he, that he did. Did you hear him? And did you hear what he said? He's proud of what he did. Well, it won't be for long. I promise. Okay, every everything that he said, he, all the pain that he's caused you, he's gonna pay for it this time. Got everything right? Yeah, every word of it. Are you ready for the next step? Yes. Yes. I can't believe this. What, Lucy? You're not going to believe what's going down. You know, with everything that's going on tonight, you sure you want you want to do this still? Yes. Do you want to go to yes, the next step? Absolutely. Do you want me to go with you? No. No, I think we have to stick with our plan. Let's just get at him all at once. Game. 
think I got it figured out. You lure a guy in, right? You make him think you want him. Everything's cool. You have a little fun. And after the fun, you want to go back to being the good little girl? Like you never wanted it in the first place? I said no. And I said it. You said no? And over no? and over. Yes, I no, said no. No, I don't remember it that no, way. No, no, you raped me. I remember you saying no, more. I want no. more. No, 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 you raped me. You, you raped me. You want it. No. So did I. So thanks for everything, baby. I'm sorry, Lucy. I'm sorry I doubted you. So what are you doing here? You hanging out? You meeting somebody? What I do after hours, especially now, is none of your business, all right? I'll tell you one thing, though. I think I'll be hanging out here a lot more. I may even join the country club. I think you and I will be bumping into each other a lot, so get used to it. Really? Would you win the lottery? Why is it that every time I turn around, Brett Lawrence seems to be there? It's an unfortunate occurrence. Just ignore it. <clears throat> oh, good evening, Father. Tangy. Sorry to interrupt your evening, but I have some news that just can't wait. Well, I hope it's good news. Well, you'll be pleased to know that I'll be returning to my position as president of Spalding Enterprises, effective tomorrow morning. Oh, well, that's wonderful news, son. Uh, but what about the board's investigation? Oh, that's over. As soon as they get a copy, each member gets a copy of one of these tapes. This tape, huh? Mm -hmm. Just listen. Um, listen, I, why don't you let me have that? I'll listen to it tomorrow morning. No. I'm having a wonderful no. evening. You'll hear it right now. That's all. Doctored a couple of figures on the old financial statements. Add a decimal point here, drop a zero there. You'd be amazed at how easy it is to make a financial success like Spalding look like a complete disaster. And the great Alan Michaels' brilliant career down in flames. So let's watch that rich, smug jerk scrounge around for a job for a change. Tape is not permissible in court. The DA can't even press oh, charge. Oh, Roger. You gotta be kidding me. Brandon Lawrence is the rapist. He admitted it. It's right here on the tape. No, he didn't admit it. He didn't admit it. Oh, He's right. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna kill myself. Wait, 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 wait. Now, look, there is something here, though. He did admit to doctoring the Spalding th the figures. Oh, now, we can bring that down. Yeah. We can bring that down. You give it to the guys that handle the white collar crimes. Yeah, and then what? He'll be brought up on fraud charges. The SEC will come after him. It might take a little time. Well, how much time? Just be patient. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're going to nail this guy for hurting some rich guy's bank account. But he gets nothing for what he did to my daughter. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, well, and look. Justice will be done one way or the other. <laughs> oh, man. This is so weird. Some courageous woman. To me. Listen, listen. Look, 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 you did the right thing, Lucy. You really, really did, honey. Listen, listen. Calling the cops is the right thing to do. And, and, Dad, no, no, maybe Cutter's right. I. No! No. No, that's too long. It's too chancy. financial success like Spalding looked like a complete disaster. What, what the devil is this, son? This has absolutely nothing to do with it. Will you just listen, please, Dad? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Somebody you don't want to hear this. It's not in here. Not in here. Are those tapes true? Did you sabotage those financials just to make Alan Michael? No problem, Dad. I got the proof right here. I'm going to make sure every single one of the board members gets a copy. You're not spending this on me, man. I was just taking orders. From who? Lynn Taggart, I demand to know. Tell me. What? Give me a break. It was you, Mr. Spaulding. You told me exactly what to do on those financials. You, Worm. This is unspeakable. 
You know the law knows what to do with scum like you, Mr. Lawrence. And I guarantee you I will prosecute you to the fullest extent. You think I'm going to take the fall for this one? Huh? I was taking orders. I got caught in the middle. The war is between you two. Do you understand that? Get out of here. Your father wanted you out of Spalding. He wanted you out. He was willing to do anything he could. Get out of my sight. Get off of me. Have you talked to Glenn Taggart? Huh? Do you know who he was working for when he started hurling those accusations at you with the How many more lives are you going to save, Mr. Lawrence? Think about it. And while you're out, think about how stupid you've been by letting yourself get distracted by Lucy. Do whatever. Speak her name again. I swear I'll rip your throat out. Whoa, get off me. Get off me. Whoa. You're crazy. You're crazy. I heard what you said. Now, Lucy Cooper was a friend of mine. You're crazy? No, I think you're crazy. And you're still alive. You want to stay that way, you just leave. Go. Go. This isn't over, all right? You got it? It is for you. No, no, let's go. You can alter and tape any way you want, man. Right. If I go down, everybody's going down. Why would Brent say those things? He would say anything to save his skin. Oh, I think there's a lot more to it than that. I'm going to call the commissioner and have this man arrested. So we... Like a threat, but you can take it as a warning. That if this Spalding employee is not in jail by tomorrow morning, I will yank the company headquarters out of Springfield so fast it'll make your head swim. See how the mayor likes that. You know, I'm curious, Alan Michael, how you got a hold of that tape. Does it matter? It's authentic. Well, you're alleging that Brent fixed the books. Excuse me, alleging? Did you hear what he said? Well, I mean, who would benefit? Are you asking as a friend or as a reporter? Oh, come on, Alan. I was here. The story broke. I mean, it's huge. You can't blame me for that. No, of course not. I understand completely. And uh, I just think Alan Michael and I need to talk about this before one of us makes a statement. Well, then I'm going back to the journal to do background work. Uh, Tangy, I didn't mean to be evasive. I just want to sort out a few things, and then I'll give you your exclusive. I promise. I'll hold you to that. Thank you. I hope you didn't believe these scurrilous things that Lawrence has said. I think you slam dunked him, Alan. <laughs> oh, hi. I put our friend on the express elevator down, the freight elevator. Uh, unfortunately, seemed to have bumped his head getting out. Oh, that's a pity. I also told the doorman not to let him back in. I don't think he's stupid enough to try, though. You guys leaving? I am. You need a cab? I would love a cab. Well, I'll flag one down for you, okay? Okay. Thank you, Hannah. Sure. Good night, Alan. Good night, Tangy. Is he telling the truth? Did you put Brent up to it? Yes, sir. Alan Michael, don't you see what Brent's doing? No, I just hear what he's saying. He's lashing out to hurt you, me, all of us. Anyone who gets in his way. Now, nothing he has said on that tape is based in reality. See, that's what I'm trying to find out, Dad. The reality. All of his actions, everything he has done, is driven by a revenge against you, son. Because you fired him. Because you believe Lucy's accusations. This man has a monumental grudge against you. He feels a noose tightening around his neck and he's struck out in the most evil way he knows. And that is to sow mistrust between you and me. He didn't have to sow anything between us, Dad. It was already there. No, son, we've had our difficulties in the past, but I've worked very hard to try to repair that. <coughs> Didn't I do my best to protect and defend you at the board meeting? I don't know what your best is anymore. Think about it. Was I not your staunchest ally in spite of all the difficulties we may have had? Look, all I know is that you have hung me out to dry on more than one occasion. How can you say that when I warned you? After that altercation at the diner, I warned you about Brent. You ask your aunt. She will tell you that I wanted to fire him. I wanted him to fire him the first day I filled in for you, but she said, no, wait for your return. Now, who knows I have an in for him. And I will swear to you, son, I am not going to rest until you are rightfully put back into the president of this company. I didn't do a 
Brent's confession on tape. There's virtually no way of stopping that, is there? I am curious about one thing, though, son. How did you... How did you get that confession? I had help. It's only very brief. look pretty bad. Nadine's asked me that same question a hundred times. No, honey, I'm just worried about the stars, that's why. Oh, Nadine. No, they are acting very screwy tonight. What are you talking about? I am talking about that the, the stars are just acting very strange, and it just means anything can happen, and, and we all just better watch our stuff. Yeah, I tend to be in agreement with Nadine. Yeah, thank you. No, no problem. You guys want to sit? Yeah. Well, I don't miss my guest. Mr. Lawrence is enjoying his bon voyage party. What are you going to do? The right thing, Brent. But first, I guess you're going to have a little entertainment. Turn your face so we can see you sweat. Because that's what you're going to do, you creep. You're the creep, man. Shut up! Hey, hey! Don't make a mess. Don't make it painful. What are you talking about? Shut your face! What are you going to do? Shut up! Hey! You're making this way too easy for me, Lucy. You're not screaming. You're not shouting. You're not putting up a fight. What's the matter, Cooper? I like hearing the truth about your daughter. Give it to me. Give it to me. You better be planning to kill me, because if you don't, I'm going straight to the police. Frank. Frank, let him go. Give me the phone. Give me the phone, Frank. You want to talk to the police? You want to talk to Springfield's phone? Yeah. yeah. We decided to join us. We call up Detective Cutter. And uh, I think he'll be happy to talk to you. Yeah, Detective Cutter, please. <laughs> Detective Cutter, <laughs> this is Brent Lawrence. I'm being held hostage in my own car by Buzz Cooper and Frank Cooper, all right? I'm at the corner of 4th Street and Fielding by the towers. Can you hear me? What's that? I can't hear you. We must have a bad connection. Hi, listen, it's Cutter here. I want you to send a couple of black and whites right away over to 4th and Fielding. A blue convertible. It belongs to Brent Lawrence. You'll probably find him inside. Take him downtown immediately, and this is top priority. It's from the commish. Right. You're going to arrest Brent? If there's anything left of him after the Cooper's finished with him. Let him day, you knocked me over with a fence. He said we had a bad connection. <laughs> oh, too bad, Brent. You must think you're a lot of trouble, Brent. I remember going around that you talked to the books of Spalding. That and the fact that you raped my daughter. I didn't rape! Shut up! What? She wanted it, you hear me? Shut up! Shut up! I need something from you. I need to hear you say that you raped my daughter. I, no, I need to hear you say that you... I need to hear you say it. Did you rape her? Please. 
Did you rape her? Just say it. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Louder. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yes! I did it, right? Yes! Are you satisfied? Huh? Am I satisfied? I'm not going to be satisfied till you're dead. Let me tell you something. I heard the West Coast is beautiful this time of year. You know that? As luck would have it, there's a flight leaving to Seattle in 20 minutes. You be on it. You be on it. Frank? Steer hips to you, punk. Look. Look. Look at me. You see this face? You'll leave. If I don't know my daughter is okay, my face will be the last thing you ever see. You see it? You see it? Get him out of here. Let's go. Get out! Bottoms up. Maybe I better make sure she's all right. Oh, this is much more than all right, Nadine. Look at her face. It's so romantic, huh? I should have anticipated this. I never should have brought you here. And this denim, these leeches. That's what they are. They're leeches. I'm okay. Really. I'm fine. I answered you last night. was so perfect. Now, back to reality. I, I don't understand how he could have figured it out. Figured what out? When I circulated that tape of, well, Brent's confession about the fraud, I, I purposely cut out the part where he confronts you about the rape. You cut it out? Yeah, I edited the tape. Somehow this guy got a hold of it, and now he wants to sensationalize the whole thing. I just, hey, stop. So please, stupid. please, please. Don't blame yourself. Please, Al Michael. Look, I don't mind if they know if, if Brent raped me. Honestly, I don't. In fact, maybe it's better if they do. Just think about it. The more people that know or believe that Brent raped me, the less chance he has of hurting somebody else, right? Please, let's just concentrate on what we started yesterday. Okay. You sure? I know, I know that today's the day of Eve Guthrie's memorial. Are you sure you Yeah, I know. I, I stopped by and paid my respects to my uncle Ed this morning. He understands that we are in the middle of a crisis here. <laughs> he also told me that I should do whatever it takes to make sure I clear this up. Having second thoughts? You know, Lucy, I can't tell you how much it means to me to have you here, standing beside me supporting me. Still thinking about your father. Yeah. You worried? Worried about how he's gonna react? But I'm not gonna let him stop me. Give us a shot. Let us through, please. Let us 
Thank you. Any, any comments? All right, who are you people? Cake? What do you want? Who are we? We're your company, oh, that's yeah. who. Of course, right. of course. But... We're the Spalding now, Alexander. What about these charges I of want fraud? answers, Alan. We all do. I yeah. want them now. All right, Damn all it. right. My brother and I would like to assure everyone that, that, that Spalding is still on solid ground. Please. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I know you don't. I, you're a new client. Yeah, soon to be ex-client if I don't get the right answer. All right, but first, I, let me tell you that. The, the good news is Spalding is not in any financial crisis, as was previously reported. It's as strong as ever. So, oh. Well, it looks like I'm being scooped. Uh, hey, back to the line. Well, yeah, yeah. Right. Mr. Spaulding, how is it that a company as powerful and as state-of-the-art as Spaulding could be brought down by a mid-level employee? I mean, how is it that Brent Lawrence was able to create a fraud of this magnitude? Inquiring minds. Yeah. <laughs> well, clearly, clearly this was the work of a lone saboteur who was driven by jealousy and revenge. Also a man who had access to the Spaulding records. Now, I want you all to know that every effort is being made to bring Brent Lawrence to justice. Now, in the meantime, it's business as usual here at the family company. No, it isn't, Dad. Thank you all for waiting. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, members of the media and others. I have prepared a brief statement. As president of Spalding Enterprises, I intend to conduct a full-scale investigation of Mr. Lawrence's fraud. Furthermore, if I find that it goes higher up within the company, I will take the appropriate action. Well, need I remind you, Alan Michael, that you have been temporarily removed as president? <laughs> yes. The operative word, Glenn, being temporary. Under whose authority are you speaking? Mine. Mine. Well, it seems that my father and I are on the same wavelength here. I stepped down as a matter of course, and the accusations that were made were based on false information. The proof of that is found in Mr. Lawrence's taped confession. So, Glenn, I welcome you, as well as any other board member, to join me in the further investigation in this matter. You know, since this crisis broke, I've always supported Alan Michael. And I think the events of last night fully vindicate him and prove that he is a capable leader. In the meantime, I will be stepping down as acting president and returning the reins to my son. From this moment on, he is reinstated as president and fully in charge of this investigation of fraud. I endorse him and I applaud him. I hope the board can meet as soon as possible and second my decision. Thank you, Dad. Any comments? Hey, Alan Michael, how specifically do you have any say as to what well, that was very good of you. Well, I love my son, and I believe in him. I told you that. Didn't you believe me? Of course, I, I hope that we have a chance, and I have a chance. I, I, I do care about you, Alan. You know, Tangie, all you care about is a story. So let's not pretend otherwise. Do you really believe I was pretending? Excuse me, Tangie. Um, Father, can I see you in my office just for a minute, please? Well, if you want a story, Miss Hill, I suggest you wait in the lobby with the rest of the media. All right, everyone, that's all for now. We'll reconvene in the lobby. The family will be making a statement very shortly. Thank you. Thank you all. No, not a moment. We'll be with you, though. Thank you. Well, we're alone, son. No board members or press, and I just want you to know that I meant every word that I said out there. But I do need to know one thing. Just where exactly do I stand? In terms of? Well, am I about to be investigated? Am I your target? Lucy, that was quite brave of you, eliciting that confession from Brent Lawrence. <laughs> Personally, I've always found him a very interesting young man, but a very chilling young man. Never quite sure he could be trusted. Father, I've never wanted to believe you more than I do right now. You had nothing to do with Brent. You completely and totally supported me. Now, Michael, those just weren't words. I've always supported you. I mean, the ring that I gave you that belonged to your grandfather, Brandon, it symbolizes a passing of leadership from him to me and then to you. It meant the world to me when you gave me that. I've always wanted to be the best that I could for you. Son, I love you, and I want the best for you. You deserve it. Well, I... 
I, I need to be to be sure. That you mean that. Help me. Okay? Come to work with me at Spalding, you know? Side by side, father and son. Just like the picture that, that, that you told me you had seen a thousand times of the two of us. <laughs> will you do that for me, father? Well, yes. Yes, I will. my father to come work with me, to help me. And he said he would. Why? Why would you even think to ask him that? Do you really believe that he's telling you the truth? Oh, Michael, please tell me, please tell me you don't honestly think that he had nothing to do with Brent and that he's not trying to stab you in the back. Do you really believe that? Do you? The idea that my own father would try to deliberately ruin me? Why would any father try to do that to his own son? I don't know. But it happens. Yeah, well, I pray to God that you're wrong. Lucy, the truth is, I don't trust him. But I need to be able to keep my eye on him Every minute. Come on, let's go. Uh, Michael, I'm not really very Look, tired. you're out on your feet, okay? It's to be expected after everything you went through last night. Not to mention the today with the media. Lucy, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. When are you going to stop apologizing? Well, when you get a good night's sleep. How about that? <laughs> Look, I'll call the, the driver and I'll tell him to, to pull the car around the side of the, the building. He'll take you straight home, okay? You don't get it, do you? What? Remember that time when we were outside looking at the stars and you were talking about our future? Yeah, I'll never forget it. Neither will I.